Hot Deco Hotels and Suits And trust me, it's another banger Banda. The statement called. What's happening? Um, Lagos, good evening. You don't do, you don't do. I don't get much time. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Can we now talk? What did happen now? He they kiss me, man. I don't don't do that. How they take arrange this hall? You guys have not paid for ticket, right? <laughs> they use cage, cage you now. You're not going home, man. I'm so happy to be here today. I just came in from Portacourt. Nobody has told people about Portacourt. First thing, one go commit suicide. He see in number wrong. <laughs> no. It's very bad. When they enjoy Lagos going here, nothing they happen here. I got can I hear? I hear you. Person they impersonate you for Portaco though. But those are their own court, never blue. Man, things are very rough. Messi AK, I see you. Wow. People are saying Messi AK puts on Yashpad. No, it's a lie. You can't do that. If you want to see Yashpad, come to Portaco. You see real Yashpad. So what we do when we go to club, we hold needle, you know. We dance, dance, we chook them. If you don't shout, we come out there. We go to the next place. Ama, things they happen now. Can't wait to say she regret meeting me. In posting Papa today. Now my polo the man wear. Things are very bad. See, um, some people there yeah. Uh, my father is in Atlanta. My father is. We we'll see all today. You post your father. You crop the shoe. Why? Why are you cropping Atlanta shoe? Are you okay? What's wrong with you? And please, before I come to Ireland, I stayed in the mainland. You know? Mainland, please try. I know some mainland people, they always you know, follow that Korope. Come. Please, as you're going back to you guys, uh -huh. please try for your mind now in the island. See you. I like on an island. Come on, come on. I'm talking to you. So many room service are here. Please, you know, say room service where the island and room service where the mainland, not be the same thing. How can somebody book Indomie and egg by 12 in the afternoon? Room service, especially those short, short ones, Calabar. You know, tell me, Waka, I'm talking to you. Two o'clock, you go to the room. You can't hear noise like this. <sighs> Normal room service. Chebi, you supposed to go. Mainland room service. No. Those short, short ones. Once they don't put here. <sighs> so this guy no one pay me. What are they going to bring? Mastercard. Thought they could fire that. Open your door. Go see grown up my way home, babe. <laughs> see room service stand for them. I okay, got one five for the enemy. Because you know, say so once man won't come. In language they change. <laughs> How many? Some girls are wicked. Once you see man, they come shift. No, you see the man. How many? <laughs> In the middle, I <laughs> we can call about it. Oh, then I'm five feet chop. You know, let's say the man, don't go when, <laughs> when, don't tell me that it's so bad. Things they happen. Ah, uh -uh, I got 60. Now, this table joke 72 bottle water. What's happening, my boss? I see you. Oh, my nothing where we know they see you. Country not hard. Some people are shouting, change Nigeria. You see that place where they do PVC? No kind of woman be when not there. Some people don't know why they come home. Then just join line. 
Mumu. Who are you supporting? B to B. Which party? PDP. How? Why not go home and check well? Why just do PVC finish that give? I say, PVC our party. How? These are the people that will disgrace us. We need, we need to sensitize all these people. They are causing problem. You need to know who you are following. <laughs> Please, if you don't say you do, yeah. I know why I will die. <laughs> all these people wear pencil, don't they? I know you're entering for free. But you need to laugh. <laughs> so they, they do their work. <laughs> they will just come. Let's help the sponsor. Go back. <laughs> um, uh, now this Lagos we do. Not be everywhere where motor they off for Lagos. So. If your motor off for Victoria Island, you're safe. You see that third mainland bridge? If your motor off there, don't open the boot. Lock it, close the door, fly. <laughs> Enter water. Just the. Let me shock you. Abro will follow you. Enter water. <laughs> Let us Abro. You gonna swim? See Abro follow you for bathroom. Now you go down. Look at Oga. What's the apple? The key. The key. The key. <laughs> we get people. And if your motor turn off for that Aja Bridge. Hey! Hey! You never see a motor off. They know they find the motor. Now you. As the motor don't off, because the person they run, they go to the road. See, one hour of the road from Sagot to the road, they come. Another one they pursue from Devron. Wickedness! I don't know. Come on. Thank you. Hey! Sabi one. Pencil talking, some of you will say, like, you see, they calm down now. Now everything they make you, they vex. There's somebody here, and God will expose you today. There's somebody here, God will expose you today. Before I start, I just want to quickly say something. Um, the person that uh, cheat. Last week, Tuesday, at uh, Zenith Bank, <laughs> Pestak Branch. God will punish you with Jesus' name! Ah, last time, all of you are shit. You are not say shit. Listen, you are not say shit, get spirit. If you see him, your eye will see the good here. You are not say dead here, but you will go see the I have been traumatized. As I'm talking to you now, if they tell me make I draw that sheet, I can draw it. I know what I'm talking about. You will be telling me, like I see now everything they make you the vex. Why would I not be angry? Just last week, my neighbor, my neighbor, he changed my Wi-Fi password. How? He came to meet me, he said, ah, Baba, I go need your password. I said, no, while well, I give up. I thought I got back in the evening. Internet, no work. They don't log me out. I went to knock. Alex, how far? He said, Baba, I know to fill that your password. I said, I don't understand. My password. I said, okay, so give me the new password. He said, the new password now. Agnes, I love you. One, two, three, four. I said, Alex, who be Agnes? He now my mama. So you change my own password for your mama. Stop telling me to get angry for the wrong reasons. It's only in Nigeria somebody will use two bedroom flats. What am I saying? Two bedroom flats. Room and parlor to do secondary school. How? How? I'm telling not be joke, oh, my friend Ibrahim Nadia do NYSC. I find I go there last week. I got there. I was trying to understand the school. Yeah, I, I don't understand. So how do they do the classes? It shocked me. I see teacher they punish students for front. The two of you go to my staff room. I say, where staff room one day? <laughs> I say, where could the staff room be? Lo and behold, the cotton. For the bedroom, 
JSS1 to SS3. Now cutting the tail divider. As a Greek teacher, they teach JSS2 students in voice, they enter for that math class, SS3. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Stop. Olga, okay. since I've been in this show backstage, you have been moving around. Why do Nigerians like notice me? Why do you like to make yourself the center of attraction? Are you, are you Dubai? What exactly are you looking for? You have stood up to peace more than 40 times in two minutes. Every little thing, excuse me, excuse me. Even my friend that have a sickness called trypoluntopoluntontomiasis, he does not peace like you. Sit down! Spinny, spinny, spinny khaki. Because God has given you Toyota Camry now, you have turned it to umbrella. Abi, if that key entered that woman's eye, you will see what will happen to you here today. You will see what will happen to you here today. Picking phone call. Hey, I'm at the pencil on broken show. Who asked you? Who asked you? If God now bless you with Lexus, now on the pencil on broken stage, you go park the car. All the women in the house, please make some noise. I don't understand. What was that? I say all the women in now nah, smarty they make me vex so. All the women in the house make some noise. And nah, there they, they see you now. Please, I want to beg you on behalf of all the men in the house. Not be every battle you go push your man big fight. Men, are you with me? Are you with me now? It is not every battle you push your men to fight. A lot of people have been avoiding relationship. I'm one of them. I entered into a relationship five months ago on a Tuesday morning. I left that relationship five months ago on a Tuesday afternoon. I know what I'm talking about. We were just, oh, we've been talking. Finally, we say, may we start the relationship. True, true. We went out shopping. As I was, as we were coming back, I said, make her enter car. She just came. Oh my God, baby, baby. Oh my God. I said, what's up? You won't believe what just happened. I said, baby, what's up? He said, can you imagine this big fool? I was just about entering the car. The next thing, he pushed me. And I said, are you blind? And he told me, you are very stupid. I looked at the guy. I said, baby, you know what? Let's go. Their problems start. She said, oh my God, I can't believe this. Are you really not going to do anything? I asked her, I said, baby, are you going to let him kill me? <laughs> Human being, why they talk about the guy? Be like, do you talk to me? I said, wait, what do you really want from me? She said, wait, I just want to understand something. Are you telling me now that if this guy were to tap my ass, he wouldn't do anything about it? I said, no, you are getting it all wrong. If this guy squeeze your nyash, like bed sheet. I still, I know you know that I know that even if I resume in the gym today, from now to four years, I still cannot fight him. So what do you want from me? I thought she starts. Oh, I know devil and women, they work hand in hand. I don't know. Anybody? Are you with me? Are you with me now? Devil and women, there's this uniform understanding they have. They, they relate uniformly. So I should talk. Oh my God. My friends will laugh at me. I can't believe this. Oh my God. I say, baby, I believe this. <laughs> I know what you are the see. I should they talk the thing, the thing when they taught me. Just complaining. Moo moo me. Devil now came in on my behalf. Started telling me. Hey. And I say, let me warn him. You know, I didn't plan, I didn't want to fight him. I just said, let me warn him. So I just did like, and I say, you know, I don't ever in your life let it be the first and the last warning. No man, we all do it. Now that day, I know what they call color blindness. I just noticed that from afar, are they here? What is his blood group? <laughs> no. We will need. Okay, we will need at least one family member inside the emergency room before we can start the operation. I'm telling you, if you are here and you have plans to do blood money, let me tell you the truth for free. Don't let anybody lie to you. 
If I tell you what the e-money they go through. Oh, sorry. I thought all of us agreed. Oh, uh, at least all of us don't agree. So now, what they do? Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, but if I tell you what did happen, my guy Osazuwa called me December last year. He said, Lassisi, oh boy, I want to do blood money. I said, Baba, calm down. He said, No, I don't get shop blood. I said, They follow you talk now. The person they on ground. I said, But seriously, how do you know this person is sure? He said, Now the native doctor, now he do blood money for AY. Now I said, AY? AY get money. Pencil, AY did the show. Okay, yes. good. He did? Yes. Uh, now I say, he said, I said, okay, what do you have to do? He said, the guy said, may cut any favorite part of him, but he comes. See, they know the key. They know the kill animal. They know the key human being. I said, okay. January 5, Osazuwa called me. He said, last see, I don't do what they say. I said, what did you do? He said, he don't cut it, it, it two fingers. I said, why did you cut two fingers? He said, the man said, may he cut the favorite, and he get two fingers. Okay. No one. We drive over region. As we reach the shrine, we see no let. <laughs> I say, Osazoa, talk to me. I hold the nylon with a finger there inside, eyes blocked there on top. Now me hold the nylon. I say, Osazoa, talk to me. As we get confused, then one guy passed. We say, bro, please, where is the man that is always here? They are uh, actually say the native doctor don't give a life to Christ. <laughs> so as we put the panic, ah, when did this he say now last year? They go buy candle for one woman shop. They for the woman radio, first they on the play Hilo. The altar call. I was at. as I'm talking to you right now, and I saw Sazu a finger be. No be Sonia at the seat for table. Sonia, who put your mama for table? <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Baba, no mind them. No mind them. Mama, wake up my ass where my gushy share the fried plantain. You, you. I don't see her for your face. She ain't want to dodge me. She ain't want to. You don't see new clients. You don't see new clients. I'm good. Ah, they feel your paro. Baba, don't worry yourself. You go chop plantain. Mama, give me plantain and I'll no soup. <laughs> you, you. I'm good. This one, a mama will be say, call me one day, tell me, say, since money, I think I miss my menses. <laughs> menses. She will take a me on your papa menses. Bastard. She, she did a kiss. She did a pregnant person from kissing. Person where I kiss only once. Pencil unbroken, the statement call. Have a good time. I just want one and wait. I want you to talk this thing for mine because I don't understand what it means to the talk. Which one did they tell me for backstage? Say thank you for the love and support. Okay, I don't support you. Now let me go give me balance. So which one will be thank you for the love and support? You carry woman these days. You don't be showing the ring now. Nah, nah. I was there for you when you were staying in one room. You tell me that nah, you paid the rent. I stood beside you. Oh yeah, stand, man, stand beside you the world with this. Carry girl go club, she did dance leg work. It is the world with this song. I go and shoot one time with one guy this day. Uh, I don't find him funny. Ah, look, I ain't take consign. No way they don't pay. <laughs> I think I'll consign me, eh? Who lose? I think they work with this. You don't find, eh? You go find best to find it, that one consign me. I was surprised for this show. That thing where they come on fire for that. That thing where it's best in tears. Fire go come on. What's in there they call her? They use them for wedding. 
On a noté des dons banal pour Père Souchou. The last time we person come and say, I don't know what I'm going to say to this guy. Petit Mida, he exists. The cause exists, he can't come outside. Go stand in between that way they can go fire. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is F69, they're going to fire. And I don't see egg way bomb before. Sexy the egg and smell all dog, all dog. <laughs> I tell my father, we are in there, they complain to my mom. DJ, I mean, what's my time? I need to play, man. Come on, for you, they don't pay. <laughs> my father, we are in there, they complain to my mom. Say, the Nigerian economy is this one. The Nigerian economy is that one. How they look at it? Wait till my mom do. Of an no love, now I'm concerned. <laughs> I tell you. No, now my women, I don't understand. Before to surprise women, chief, now. They're not proposed to now for basketball court, and I know. Before carry woman go on top bridge, tell her, can you see the stars? She could say, yes, Johnny. Can you count the stars? No, that is how countless my love for you is. You don't crazy. Now, carry woman go on top bridge, cover in eye. I have a surprise for you. Once you reach the bridge, you know, go look up now, then you go to look. Now, then where is the surprise? Come tell her, can you see the stars? I can see. Can you count the stars? I cannot count. That is how countless my love. So, where is the surprise? And I don't cost. Now I go come spend all those money. You go come go club, go the dance there for. Please, I give you slime. Let's say you. You tell me this. Nobody that asked me yesterday say what. Yeah, I, I go here with a make it. Go perform. First they ask me, I'm hearing BBC. BBC. What is BBC? What do they do, you do with BBC? Now I tell us that there is a bad thing. As all of us know, get sense. Mood, mood, mood. I tell you, you get one man, we. I get 39 seconds, thank God. You get one. You know, say. You know, say. As I do, I'm very time conscious. You know, a lot of people have to perform. So they come in and go perform for you, they don't get joke. They go say thank you, that's my time. Oh guy, you get time, go perform. They say they want, which I be that's it. You when I give two, 30 minutes, you do two minutes, that's my time. I go for that call, one guy perform, finish, nobody laugh. You begin to say, we die you. He <laughs> turn out to fight. <laughs> thank you very much, that's my, that's my time. The statement call. Yeah, there's some things why I won't talk this night. Because this life, you talk, you you know say if to say Nigeria they are life, if we don't die. Yeah. This country is crazy. They don't talk to me, they share this country, share the money. May everybody collect their own. Move. <laughs> How many of you have watched that APC primary? That APC primary. They're supposed to arrest that DJ. You don't want to go down there. Hey, I will go down there today. <laughs> the one where they pay me pass, Yaya Bello. Yaya Bello, the man pay 100 delegates. In fact, the people when they pay me pass, we say, Nigerians, we wicked though. The man book hotel for 100 delegates, watch them for transcorp. They pay them two two thousand dollars every week before the primaries. Do you know that he reached the day 
Now only 10 people vote for that man. <laughs> 10 people vote for that. Where the remaining 90 people go? Yaya Bello now waiting they do for Abuja. They carry their pictures. They work. If you work, I go ask you, my brother, do you know this guy? <laughs> my brother, they look for them. But now I don't pay me. And Tunde Bakar. Pastor Tunde. The man get 100 million, 30,000 for account. He used 100 million by presidential fund. Use 30,000 for book SMS. Not even one vote, Nigerians. Evil vote of thanks. But you know this country don't don't right now. Now why they tell some girls this vibrator one that they use one and one that they use them on vibrator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She be one girl now. She likes vibrator when she dey single. She be she don't marry now. Born all her children they stammer. Of course I'm fucked up. Who never fuck up? Oh, but we'll talk rubbish today. Hey, I said this country the other day. Road safety. Arrest. Nepa. Say they follow one way. Carry them. They go to their office. Nepa reach road safety office. Don't say, say road safety to illegal connection. Now the matter they still they soft now. Nigerians they complain. Do something. We need power. We need power. What's happening? No light anywhere. Now Osibanjo come. Some more courage. Go meet Boo Boo. I say Boo Boo. Boo Boo. Nigerians are complaining. And Boo Boo say as a what? That they need power. And Boo Boo tells, you know we are living soon. Tell them that all power belongs to God. Nigeria, Nigeria, from top to bottom. For heaven, the world be like TV, different station. God, that they watch different countries like station. God for your day now, everywhere can. Just say Jamaica. I won't listen to news. Jamaica, go your go your honor. America. God go to watch, go see Donald Trump, he makes speech. See different things, they happen, para, they talk, news for the world. God feels day. Oh, and Jamaica, I want to watch tourism. They will just go, Jamaica go your own, Dubai. You all see for political fire, they enjoy things, they happen. God go your loop. I don't tire. You might get more laughs more now. More oh, just laughs more. They all go. We all on Nigeria. You go your yeah. B B P. B B P. A B C. Eh? We are taking over. Emilio Kong. Emilio Kong is my. I know that woman, mommy. Mommy Gio. Who the which people they go to that woman church? Who? Who? You they go to the woman church? Even dress like a hotcha. <laughs> stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up. That mommy Gio, they need to arrest that woman. All comedians must go to. My dear, if you are here and your dream is to become a comedian, I want you to renounce Jesus before you become a comedian. You must renounce Jesus and reject him. To become a comedian means you are destined for hell. And if any pastor tells you you are destined to be a comedian, that means you belong to hell. Me, I be comedian, no, I no be comedian. 
So I don't know what that woman they talk about. But this, wait, I need to talk this. What if this girl now where they, where they rain everywhere? Kelly. Any man where they here? We never watch this Kelly video. Raise up your hand. You. You they raise up your hand. You when you say they want to download the video. No space for your phone. You say delete Bible, delete Bible. 70 years old man. Ah, but you know, say this PVC thing, I swear to God, if they use this girl to that advert, eh, all the men go get PVC. You feel the watch and you say, ah, maybe this girl is really promoting this PVC thing, no? Ah, she's really. But wait, what did it happen with Asu Strike? Asu is on strike and they are still writing jam. Where did they go? And I don't understand. Asu they on strike and they see they write. Where, where, which school? I don't understand. If you ask me. Let's say, let's say, did they pay me? Because this Asu strike. Don't make many lecturers lose their job. They know they, they need to hustle. The other day, one girl find me come. Sorry. One girl find my guy come. Because my babe there. Yeah. Fancy which of the girl? Babe, my joke. Find my guy come. You can't book me, but I won't go back. Now her HOD. Her HOD, now I'm the Uber guy. As a man carry a dropper, the man goes to beg and rate me five star. <laughs> but the country is hard, no jokes. Uh, where are my Nigerian previous people? Uh, where the? Uh, Mona Siamo. I don't they drink Camo. Uh, you know, say the money remains 40%. No one yet say anything affect my balance. Ah! Nigerian priest, go beg. Ah! This beer makes sense, so. Ah! ah. Go beg. Go go beg. Doctor, your number say go beg. Talk to say God beg. I don't need drink ammo. No more. The kind of money when Nigerian previous give me, eh? Even my accountant can't they suspect me whether I don't keep person. Good beg. Power us. <laughs> What's our color? Talk to your neighbor, say power. power. The horse. Power us. I don't need drink camo. <laughs> this is our mix and together, two sponsors. You know, get him. Then open. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, please, once again, a round of applause for my sponsors. A round of applause. A round of applause. They made this happen. They made this happen. But, but, but I, I, I say this. You know, whiskey, bad guy. Things don't change for that guy. Now, I hear say whiskey, they charge 50 million. Are you serious? Eh? How much? Uh, now, now they help and they calculate the money. <laughs> now, those people, now then they drag. They feel no on whiskey. Who gave money pass? See them. Now, then you go see for newspaper joints. 
150 million with the dad on one show. How you want to negotiate that money? You know, that's a be nice if you think of wedding, you know, if you call whiskey. When a shake come out six months ago, when pencil start to crack choke, ten years ago, and I see they collect 1.5, 2 million. It's crazy. Now, as I as I can charge me 7 million, I can't they think. Is there something I'm not being right? Musician, that they get my charge money. Now I say I won't charge now. Now they call coming for one wedding for wearing. Now first, now I say four million. The woman say hello? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. You said what? I said four million. Then she's laugh. <laughs> we will get back to you. <laughs> when clients say you say we will get back to you. Call them back home. For musician, you call a person like Kiss Daniel for wedding. He called tell you 15 million. You know, say, now you call the thing. Is that if people ask you, what's your budget? You can't say we have five million. Artists, so they'll call tell you and say, we will get back to. Artists, so now your wedding, because is that a thing will get back to you? Now, is that the night you can't wait for fixed dates for your wedding? <laughs> They'll come ask you, Big Bay, when is your wedding? Now, is that the way they give us the two? <laughs> Artists, they, they charge anyhow. Now, why if they won't They won't fall. Now, you know how much they pay the charge? <laughs> they go tell you, say, my brother. For relationship, bring 150. <laughs> I lie, need them. Pencil of the statement call. Pencil was shouting that I shall care 7 million that came out six months ago. Him, 12 years, 1.5. You never reach 1.5. Thank God for your life, oh. Somebody called me for an event forever. How much you charge? I said 800k. He said, Are you coming with the hall? I said, You've not paid for all. He said, That's the exact price of the hall, and you will be inside. <laughs> you not get respect for cement. <laughs> Baba, hold your 1.5. Oh. You know, but you were asking, Is it that? What are you doing wrong? Pencil, let me tell you the secret. This, the problem is in your name. You don't say pencil, they get eraser for up. So the eraser, they erase your years of hard work. Yes, boss. Serious music, well, thanks. So, your father. In the house, I'm not really proud of him. <laughs> uh, the man, no, that's my, my father. Not our father. He's a wonderful man, sir, for himself. My father. At least I have his name. <laughs> you know, things have changed though, man. You don't talk about Asha. God's music as they're enjoying life. The problem is that we're not even seeing their song. No lyrics. People are now singing with sneezing. All of them And somebody will win an award with sneeze. The one I heard last week, human me record their cough. When I visited the joke. And that song go when you hear this. More they watch now. I want playing for now. This is what a normal human being will propose. Record. A normal human being. We be, uh, 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 are dancing to tuberculosis. <laughs> you go to wonder why this is my cough? No, they go, it's in you. <laughs> what no 
nonsense. This is not a country. Nigeria is a, is a, is a, is a. Somebody stole 80 billion. 80 billion. Where you can't pass. The money, as the guy stole the money, different reaction. One guy, your brother calculator. If you steal 2 million around monthly, in a year, you would have stolen 24 million. For you to steal 80 billion, this guy press calculator. You mean it, you have to steal 2 million around monthly for 3,333.3 years. Nine one person. If you calculate where, if you are a Bible student, 3,000 years ago, they never even get Jesus Bele. <laughs> so this guy, the thief since Noah time. Get up. So as Noah was shouting, people ran one to fall from heaven, no, two million lost. <laughs> Come into the ark, another two million. While she was trying to calculate that one, that accountant general of the country, that said 80 billion. Then accountant general of River State. That's no 465 billion. Wait to. You're going to make up like I said, the guy went to full country money, not even really thief like that. <laughs> full country, accountant general stole 80 billion. One state out of the country stole 465 billion. And now, as again, my sister, since you use maths to calculate 80 billion, what will you use to calculate 465? I say, my brother is for that maths. Yeshua! When we calculated how many years did we take you to see 465 billion? They never created the world. <laughs> it was before the foundations of the earth. So as the Bible says, as God was walking upon the face of the deep, two, two million they lost. <laughs> and darkness upon the face of the earth, two million. As God said, let there be light, the guy increased at five million. Nobody can lie to me that Nigerians are calm balancing World Bank past one nine. <laughs> and as I'm talking, somebody they plan to tiff more. <laughs> That's why I advise Nigerians be smart. We are owing China a lot of money that we cannot pay back. And if you, if you read very well, you know that China has taken over the power sector in Zambia because they borrow Zambia money, they don't pay back. So they don't take over. And I know you are making borrow money from Tedu Railway. And we cannot pay back. The painful part about that railway is that the railway they built it out of the country from Kano to Niji. So we borrow China, say we're not borrowing again, pay the one you are borrowing. We now want to borrow 1.2 billion dollars from Brazil for agriculture, and we don't have food. And you and I know we cannot pay back. They will come back and colonize us. So please, what's your name? No, now just your native name. Now, name. You not get. What's your native name? Chica. My brother, start to learn Chinese, Mandarin, and Portuguese. Because in five years from now, your name will be Chica. Chin Wuhan, Ronaldo. <laughs> we are going back to the hinter years. So I'm begging all of you, Nigeria, don't round up. Oh. That's why anybody you see now that is looking for visa, encourage them. My friend, I saw this boy crying at the cage. I said, what happened? He said, they dupe him. I said, what happened? He said, he wants to go to Canada. So they told him that Canada no longer taking Nigerians, that Nigerians are too plenty, that he should come from another country. He now said, how will you do it? The Kenya boy stole this boy, that he need to swear half the babies of change of country. <laughs> he now said, how much? He said, what's his budget? He said, 80,000. He said, 80,000 can give him Sierra Leone. They gave this guy four office of <laughs> Interior <laughs> Federal Reserve of Sierra Leone. They stamp him. He saw this as Consular General of Sierra Leone, 80,000. This guy went to Canada Embassy. How can we help you? He said, I want to travel to your country. Where are you from? He said, I'm from Sierra Leone. What's your name? He said, Chukudun Nana. <laughs> what tribe are you? He said, I'm Igbo. Are there Igbo in Sierra Leone? He said, I'm the first. The guy is in Togo now. Nigerians are running, you know. That's why I believe that we are more than 100, 200 million Nigerians. So because those 200 million, where the people are told me they counted us. Another 100 million is in any embassy looking for visa to anywhere. As I'm talking to you now, 
I believe that that river will be too Morocco and Spain, fish not the inside. There are four million Nigerians under the water swimming to dodge immigration. If you think I'm lying, you throw a hook in the water, you won't catch you. Yeah, my eye, my eye. Now people did there. Now people did there. <laughs> How many of you have seen those buses where they ride if my driving is wrong? Call this number. <laughs> have you ever called that number? <laughs> Um, I was driving at on Ozumbamba, they were behind one school bus. Driver was driving reckless. I said, let me try this. Let me rip. That's how I called him. A man answered. He said, hello, how can I help you? I said, I'm currently driving behind your school bus, and your driver is driving recklessly, endangering the life of children and parents put under your care. I want you to sanction the driver. The plate number on the car is BDG418EE. That's it. I was, ooh! God will punish you, wicked Nigerians. I know we meet people like you on Lagos Road. That's why I removed the school number and put my personal number. Idiot! He said, of you to overtake me and tell me, Waka, you are calling them to sack me. If they sack me, who will feed my children? Yeah, yeah, man. In fact, I will jam you now, idiot. I ended the call. I called the second line. And I said, hello, are you here? Don't bother, you do see my in one phone. Good night, God bless you, man. Never so forever. Have a good The statement call. I'm very excited to be here tonight. Pencil unbroken. Pencil. That name reminds me of school. Ladies and gentlemen, when I am done with this joke, you will know the category of these individuals that you fall under. In every school, there are different types of students. Ladies and gentlemen, there are some students when it is time for exam. Their work is to sit in front. They sit in front. They come early to the exam. By the time the exam starts, they are always too confident. If you copy them, you cannot see them to copy. If you ask, they will not answer you. By the time the result comes out, you will see 75A. There are some other students. They know that they are going to fail. They stroll into the exam hall and sit at the back. They collect the answer sheet and they sleep up. They wake up 15 minutes after, write one or two things and go and submit. The invigilator will look at their script like this and ask this question, are you sure you are done? <laughs> if they ask you that question, just know that you are failing. There are another set of students, their own work is to cover their book. They will cover everything and they will still fail. Are you serious? I'm serious, please don't put that thing in between. Thank you for your anticipated cooperation. They will still fail. There are some students, their own is to arrange formation. Immediately they enter the exam, you sit down here, me, I will sit down here, you, you will sit down here. The only way to solve the problem, remove somebody in the middle, that's all. There are some other sets of students. They don't read before the exam. They read two hours to the exam and they will now start cramming. You start hearing things like, a now is the name of any person, animal, place, or thing. A now is the name of any person, animal, place, or thing. A now is the name of any person, animal, place, or thing. The only way to destabilize them, just shake them. Baba Alpha, he, ha. <laughs> but the worst set of students that I don't really like, they don't read them. They don't prepare for anything. Ladies and gentlemen, by the time they enter the exam, they come into the exam with confidence as if they know something. Baba Alpha, you don't read that thing, you know why I will go kill her. They will now sit at a strategic position looking for a particular person that is writing. Immediately they cite the person. It is finished for that person. No? You will just start hearing something like this. <laughs> Baba Alpha. <laughs> they don't give up. Oh. You will now say, wait here. Oh. They will say, I beg, come teach me. Ah. Teach you which one? Everything. Ah. <laughs> you will now tell the person. They say we should answer three. Out of five, the guy will say, eh, you say, ah, you don't read that. You say, eh, I beg anyone, just help me. The guy will now be looking at you. 
Now see, you are trying to avoid the vigilator. You are trying to do your own. You are trying to help the person. Now see, this is a beg. Number one, oh, in now, the guy will say, eh, ah. In now is the name, eh, 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 eh of, eh, eh, any person, eh, eh. Anima, you say, anima, be, you say, eh, place, eh, eh, or, eh, eh, thing. The guy will say, eh, eh, you say, yes. You will now wait for three seconds. You now hear Baba. He with me up again. I beg you, if you help me spare a now is the name of. <laughs> and you know, there are different types of invigilators too in every exam. There are some invigilators that don't care. If you like copy, it's not their business. If you like cheat, that is your problem. The only is when they say pen up in your own best of interest, do what now? Submit. If you don't submit, you will mark your script by yourself. There are some invigilators, they always wear big shirt and dark glasses. You will think they are sleeping. They don't leave one spot. People will think that they are sleeping. You now start seeing people feeling at home. They will be copying themselves. But the next thing you just say, after one hour, you just say, that boy wearing green at the back, I will send you away. There are some other set of invigilators. They are members of DSS. They must catch somebody. Immediately they enter the exam. Room. Hey, you, that boy, stand up. They must see something in your pocket. There are some other invigilators. Their own work is to scatter formation. Immediately they enter the exam. I say, you stand up. Go and sit down there. You stand up. You will not start looking at the pan. The author and finisher of your problem. But the worst set of invigilators are the ones I don't like. They enter the exam. Room. One hour, 45 minutes into a two hour paper. They will now start walking up and down. After you have written everything you know, they will not stop somewhere. They will not start reading what you are writing. As they are reading, you, you will look up. You will look at your paper. You will look up again. You will focus on your paper. The man will look at it again. He will just nod his head. You will just hear, some of you are writing nonsense. Read the question where you are just wasting your father's money. And you know, the rich in the society are very deliberate about everything that they do. The rich men in the society, they don't behave anyhow. They are very particular about the food they eat, the clothes they wear, the parties they attend, the friends they keep. Even the kinds of games that appeal to the rich are very few. E.g. God. You cannot see a poor man playing God. What does he know they are using that stick for? Maybe it will kill that. When you want to play golf, what does golf do for you? It helps you in strategic things. It helps you to cover kilometers. It helps you to build character. You even have golf clubs. When you want to play golf, you don't shout. You have dead two man discussions. How much is the contract? 100 billion. I will do the transfer next week. That is how they play golf. Another, and if you want to play golf, you have uniform. Nice polo shirt. Talking like capsule. Wear a nice face cap and your kit and you are fine. Another rich man's game is chess. You can be in front of a chessboard for three hours and all you are doing is strategic thing. Another rich man's game is polo. You have not bought power. You want to buy horse. How? But you see the other way around. You don't need a uniform. All you need is a tree, a bench, and about 50 people around you. I am talking about draft. Have you seen the way they play draft? They will not start involving your mother that knows nothing about Professor Reno. Yeah. What concerns your mother? With the issue of but there's one game that both the rich and the poor play, but how they play it differ. And that is Ludo. Have you seen the way rich men play Ludo? When they are playing Ludo with their wife or with their friend. How are you? Cray. Cray. They roll dice twice. Cray. Cray. By the time they pour, you will see six five. 
or CC. Have you seen the way one man rose dice? He rose it as if there is a problem. He cre, he cre, he cre, he cre, he cre. Move as I know, yeah. He cre, he cre. They will transfer from the left hand to the right hand. He cre, he cre. They will blow please inside. He cre, he cre. By the time they pour it, you will see one one. That one lies by the name of a beautiful night. I've never given your clothes eh, to a dry cleaner. And when the guy is returning your clothes, he's giving you something totally different from what you give that guy. I gave my dry cleaner native top and trousers. Four days after, this guy gave me, he brought, he brought bed sheet and mini skirts. <laughs> I'm not telling the guy that, bro, sorry, oh, no way I give you with this. It's the usual one that busts me. The guy said, bro, very unfest. <laughs> you size you. Very ruthless people. Them are, you see dry cleaners and tailors, then you say WhatsApp group. Oh. Very tailors, first of all, there's a difference between a tailor and a fashion designer. You meet casual, low loose, all those ones, they are fashion designers. But you see tailors, when you get to their shop, eh, they're always arguing about random things. Always bet my jaffa, you know, go pick this 48, make you enter this 42. You're picking numbers. Tailor will tell you that your clothes is ready. You go there. So when you get there, you now realize that the guy cannot even remember the material you brought. You will not get it, you will not be telling you, bros, no rush me, yo. I beg you, remember the nylon? The nylon, when you... I, I, don't, I don't blame them now. It's the internet that messed it up. Almost everybody now has a talent online. You can now sell it. Do you remember that time, eh? Just when lockdown was ending. Almost everybody here has a friend that is now cooking on the internet. That time, if you open WhatsApp, like this, everybody's calling soup. Mm. See my goose, mmm, dodo, jollof rice. Do not be putting Snapchat feet on top of jollof rice. Jollof rice now look like an albino, mmm, see jollof. Buy what I'm selling, no, buy. Sometimes you want to buy what you're selling, but the price is always very foolish. One of my friends, one babe, she said, Quenless Kitchen. She said she's selling okra. I said, how much is the okra, one paint? The girl said 28,005. I said for okra, she said, no, it's not normal okra. It's seafood okra. I checked inside this seafood, I could not see anything from the sea. No shark, no dolphin, no whale, not even chariots of um, Israelites. Let it be something I can see. Hmm? What I was inside there was, was green fish and prawn, and one crab will look at me with one eyeball. I see the crab don't even die well. And I said I should pay that kind of foolish money. I don't blame anybody now. Internet has messed up too many things. Have you noticed that nowadays you cannot spend 10 to 20 minutes on, online without seeing something sexual? Yes, even when you're not ready for it, it pop in your face. You're trying to watch football, live match, finding how you can watch live match. The next thing, out of nowhere, one babe will just pop with gigantic mammary glands. For you, bros, mammary gland means Bobby. Inside, inside tank top, mm. sugar mummies in Lagos. I'm like this. I want to watch soccer, not suck her. The one that used to annoy me the most then eh, is when you are browsing there eh, and you ask one foolish question. You just see something pop, bam, free sex near you. Do you know where I am? And we mom see here, mom see is doing soup. Which one is free sex? What kind of rubbish is that? And it's all those things online that's always giving babes mind. Everything is sexual, sexual. You start to put guys on a very, very high pedestal. You'll be saying that guys are not lasting long. Two minutes, guy. Go to the cake in that time, 40 seconds. This Katrina gave it two seconds, one second, guy. Do you know how difficult it is to have an erection? Let me educate you. Do you, know how, do you know how much work you have to put in? I read, guys, you like this talk. I read in the Canadian Medical Journal that the energy a guy burns during five minutes of rigorous intercourse is almost equivalent to the energy you will lose when you run around the stadium once. Five minutes, yes, you are dying, actually. Google it. Five minutes of rigorous. <laughs> 
it's, it's one time around the stadium. Ten minutes, double of that time. And there are some of you who hear. You combine impossible things just to last long. You'll be mixing Lipton tea bag inside dry gin. Goldberg Slim and Goldberg Big, combine it. Gardena and Granite with small lime and cucumber. As I'm saying this, some people are jotting it down. You are going to die. Can you imagine the distance you are covering on top of somebody's daughter? You not be bragging. Oh, mom, I catch that girl. 40 minutes, I just the fire. I the fire. The girl say, who is your daddy? I say, shut up. I will burn you again. I will. Imagine the distance you are covering on top of somebody's daughter. Imagine the race. Imagine what you are doing. You are running, running. As you are running up and down like that, do you know how many things you can sell in Lagos traffic? After they say you should run for presidency, you say no, I'm too young to run. You're already running down. My name is Ovi Godwin. The statement call. I am Consignor Pastor all the way from Cameroon. Um, it's just a comedy name. I'm not a real pastor. To avoid any spiritual attacks. I'm the only international guest here tonight. So, not clap for me. Um, I came in last night. I went to a church today. They call it House on the Rock. That church is beautiful. And today is the Father's Day, and the pastor was telling the people to tell, tell your neighbor you shall do more than your fathers. I told my neighbor you shall do more than your fathers. The guy didn't say anything. I said, you shall do more than your father. The guy didn't say anything. I said, why? He said, my father is a drunkard. If I need to do more than him. <laughs> I'm a father of two. I've been in marriage now for some years now. Two years. I'm beginning to realize there's a song that women sing. Please, I know two years is not far. For me, it's very, very far. <laughs> you will not understand. So I celebrate those of you that in 10 years, God is your helper. Amen. In two years in marriage, I've realized that how much you give your wife for chop money, for food money, determine her song if she's a Christian. If you give your wife, like, let's say, 500,000 for one week, say, baby, he manages 500,000 for one week, he hears song like a DJ. Your love is kind. 500 for one week. Your love is patient. For one week, 5K, eh? Yeah? You, you feel my heart. DJ, wait. With so much peace and one week. But if you give your wife, like, let's say, one million, the wife will get up in the morning, hear something like this. DJ. I'll put you in front, in front of my melody. One million. All the money. One million for one week. You are all the money. Yeah, her plan. I'll make room for two. DJ, kill it. But if you give your wife like five million, you go look, you go, you deal like God. Five million. Your wife all his song now warfare. As he get up in the morning, he hear song like this, DJ. By the grace of God, I shall win this battle. By the grace of God, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I shall win this battle. By the grace of God, I shall win. Every spirit of stinginess, Holy Ghost. Fire to poverty. Hello, I'm coming from Cameroon, and we, my president has been on seats for 38 years now. So when you people are crying that you people have old president, my president is 80, 85 years now. So it doesn't make sense for you not to be obedient. Uh, 
Because a certain thing that makes sense, but if you look at it again, it doesn't make sense. To protest in America, it makes sense. But to protest in Cameroon, it doesn't make sense. Education is a key, it makes sense. But before you finish school, they have changed the padlock. It doesn't make sense. If you go to the church and your pastor is preaching your writing, it makes sense. But if you never to read that in your ever writing for church, it doesn't make sense. To invite the girl out, it makes sense. But for her to come with five of her friends, it doesn't make sense. To cheat on your wife, it doesn't make sense. But to apologize with five million, it makes sense. <laughs> to invite a girl to leave Abuja and come to Lagos, it makes sense. But for her to come with her period, it not make sense. <laughs> for a comedian from Cameroon cracking jokes, it makes sense. But for you not laughing, it not make sense. Um, let me do this one. Today is a Father's Day. Everything about God is man. That's why I love God. Because God is calling him the Father. That's why we pray in the name of the Father and the Son. After our prayer, we conclude a, a man. There's no a woman. Everything about God is man. That's why even angels are male. Angel Michael. Angel Gabriel, there is no angel sin, there is no angel grace. <laughs> Everything about God is man. Even Jesus came in as a man. Have you ever imagined woman Jesus? Like, duh. Like, hello. Woman Jesus. And they come and say, hello Jesus, you are about going to the cross. Woman just like, oh my God, I want to die. Come and do my eyelashes, come and do my nails, I want to go and die for the sins of the world. And they will carry cross. Woman Jesus will carry cross and will be going and see his friend. Inter, let me go and die for your fornication. <laughs> Remember me, Jesus had two thieves here. Eh? And when he got to the cross, the two thieves asked him a question that you are son of the Lord, save your son and save us. Remember me, me, Jesus didn't say anything. They just imagine woman Jesus at the cross. With another two thieves. One murderer and one slave queen. And they are at the cross there. And the slave thing will say, if you are the daughter of the Lord, save us, save us, save us. Woman Jesus, you will just move hand for cross. <laughs> Am I the one? <laughs> Woman Jesus, you go hot. Oh. By now, they will see the query. Oh. <laughs> if you don't die, you will not go die. Now, there's a sound that is very, very everywhere. Everybody knows the sound. If you hear something like, Kukuruku, you say, what's the sound? Kukuruku is what sound? The cock, if you hear woo 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 woo, what is the sound? No, if you hear uh, meow, <laughs> but if you hear this particular sound, uh, uh, it's which sound? Who says a woman sound? That sound go places. But before I go, I want to drop this joke. The place, this joke, I wrote it, they sent it from Cameroon. That you know, funny people, it's not my fault. Somebody asked me to test the joke. Whether it's a, it's a foreign joke. So let me do the joke now. It's no joke. the statement call. So ladies and gentlemen, I just graduated recently, guys. I graduated last year from Covenant University. Oh. I wish my papa to go talk, oh, don't pay five million, five years. Don't count this, you want to do comedy. Limao. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not really angry about covering investing. My mom be say, they could have just prepared us for life. You know, while we're in school. I'm telling you, there are people in Covenant now that think that when they are 19, they will have a house and three cars. They the reason for day. And I don't blame them, it's the messages we hear. You know my chancellor now? There's no mountain anywhere. There's no one stopping you. You can live your dream. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve. There's no one stopping you. It can't be like slogan for school. There's no one stopping you. I'm not saying that message now for people where they stream. 
If you're in this country, there's someone stopping you. <laughs> then there's one guy, after I listen to that message, the guy say, ah, I can leave my, there's no one stopping me. He said, this was 2015. He said, by 2020, I will be a pilot. I'll be flying. There's no one stopping me. He pays time everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, I met him in 2020. He's actually a pilot now for our Gulf of Motors. <laughs> you know. And he's in the Fly Express. You understand? <laughs> off fly and off fly. Today is Father's Day, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for every man in the house. Yeah. You know, after all the millions of um, Mother's Days that we've had, they gave us one for the men. And I think the reason why society and generally many people don't appreciate men is because they don't understand men. And I'm here to help you to understand men. All right? Now, relationships are failing because men and women don't understand each other. You see, men and women, they have two syndromes, two different syndromes. Men have the syndrome called Positivo Synomnica Syndrome. Please jot things down, all right? And women have the syndrome called Negativo Synomnica Syndrome. What does it mean? Positivo Synomnica Syndrome means that in every situation, in every negative, a man will always see the positive. And Negativo means in every negative and positive, a woman will always see the what? Negative. I'll give you an example. Maybe two people are dating. Let's say the two of you. You're dating. All of a sudden, her birthday comes. You didn't do anything for the birthday. You didn't do anything for the birthday because you didn't remember that it was her birthday. When a lady sees that, she will come to you the next day. She'll be like, honey, you forgot my birthday. The man is like, forgot? That's too harsh. That's like I saw your birthday in my mind. I said, I will not take it. I'm going my way. That's too hard. A man would rather say, it skipped my mind. That means the birthday on his own skipped my mind i'm not the one he just skipped my mind let me give you another one the woman will say honey you lied to me the man is like lied to you that's too harsh lied to you i mean how was i to know that that place was a club i mean i told you it was an office because people walked there i mean I yes people are dancing that's the office <laughs> The one that women will die for is, honey, you cheated on me. Man is like, cheated on you? That's too harsh. You know what cheating is? Cheating is when I rob you of your own share and resources, location. But if I'm giving your own and I'm giving others, I'm not cheating, I'm efficient. <laughs> you see, all the ladies here, they're like, who is this idiot? All the men, they're like, this guy, wise. <laughs> And I'm telling you, women have it easy. I don't know why women are even trying to be men. I said, men are even tired of being men. You think men hate Bob Risky? No, we don't hate Bob Risky. It's envy. <laughs> Tell him, how can he just go like that? Check it. Every man that became a woman made it. Bob Risky, James Brown. Just made a switch. They just blew. Nothing did this man. Nothing come out. I'm telling you. Okay, let me, let me give you an example. Okay. But well, they go out now, and they go to this lounge. You hear about some lounges, they have what we call ladies' night. That means everything for ladies that night is what? Free. Have you ever heard of men's night? Even if you're here, will you go? They are fun, and men's night, you guys go there. Don't go anywhere, you're there. You know when they pay me pass now, all those people, when they even bold, they organize parties, they go see. Um, guys, 25k, ladies free. I ah! <laughs> think they suck my blood. <laughs> guys, 50k, ladies free. You never hear feminists find that one alone. No, no, you're cool with that one. But, come on, there's one party like that. They say, guys, 30k, ladies free. And I wanted to be. I, wanted, I said, I must be there. And you know, say, hunger, they bring creativity. And so I look the IV. So I carry weed, I carry provisions. Let's put out for bank. See, I go go as man. I was so afraid. This is my first time doing this. Ordered the Uber. Uber came. Sat down. The guy he was beside me. We were talking. We were just in, talking about Chelsea. Talking about how every Thursday, yeah, normally, as we just reached, the guy just I see they end the trip. Me at the end, my man who does the that. He said, just end the trip. I don't really just end. It, just look. He said, bro. He said, Tony, bro. Who is your bro? 
please end it fast. So I calm down, my heart, they beat. This is my first time. Just the walker. You see the bouncer, that big like this. I see this guy catch me. He don't done. So just to, I'm for the party. The guy look me, look me. Just said, enter. Be like, I the enter heaven. Just enter the party. And you know, if those that go for parties, you notice know, that ladies like to cluster together, they like to stay together. So me say, I go, go join them, just sit down. As I sit down, forget those guys, they don't know themselves. Oh, forget those so guys, they, say they, know, they don't know anything, they're rubbish, they don't they talk. I sat down there, one thing left, and they started introducing themselves. They say, hey, what's your name? Say, my name is Cynthia. Hey, what's your name? My name is Clara. So they think all they reach me. So me, I just enjoy them. Hey, what's your name? Carol. Hey, what's your name? I forget, say, I come as woman. I say, my name is Ebu. Nah, listen. You say, I say, I'm just kidding. Ebu Kalina. They say, oh, hi, Ebu Kalina. So they start the clap. Before you know it, we just the gist though. Ladies can burn fast for party. I'm just the young. All of a sudden, the DJ just started playing one song where now I've hit the song so much. Can't forget it. That I'm getting jealous. And so Cynthia just stand up. Hey, this is my jam. She danced five minutes after she looked me. Hey, Bukalina, don't you want to dance? For my life as a man, no woman do ever come approach me and say, don't you want to? I said, me? She said, come, Joe. I just, I just join her. Smarty, we don't dance. They don't they touch me. <laughs> What want these women play. I say, what are you doing? They stop each other, play along. But you know, they don't sandwich, they go, they slap themselves, they pass it on. Hey, Bukalina, that's the... <laughs> From that day, I vow, I no go go any party as man. <laughs> women for life! Pencil unbroken, the statement call. How you guys doing tonight? How are you guys doing tonight? Don't be proud. Okay, you know what? Just imagine it's David Doe that came, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, what up, what up? Yeah, how you doing tonight, man? Chee! How you doing tonight? You go answer, woo! That's how they used to do it. How you doing tonight? Eh, uh eh. -huh. Yeah, 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 my regular people. How you doing tonight? I can't hear you regular. You bless, you bless, you bless, I don't know how much I pay for this show. TAP, how you doing tonight? They will not get out. <laughs> ah, my guy, David, David. One man raised how much? 250 million naira and donated it to the orphanage. <laughs> I mean, I love what he did, but <laughs> the problem was he announced that he's giving 250 million naira to the orphanage on Friday. On Saturday, half of Nigeria started registering at orphanage. I saw my father now. I saw him, I said, Daddy, uh -uh, what are you doing here? Are you an orphan? He said, eh? my papa and mama never die. The question is, what are you doing here? You want to kill me before my time? Eh? Well, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Um, election is coming. Uh, eight months from now, Abby. Who are you guys voting for? Who are you voting for? Okay, I'm just going to make quick introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, candidate number one. Former Lagos State Governor, ladies and gentlemen, he is the Jagaban himself. If you're voting for the one, the only, Bola Tinibu, make some noise! Woo! Okay, one or two woos. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try that again. Let's try it. Ladies and gentlemen, he is known as the Waziri of Adamawa, former Vice President of Nigeria. If you're voting for Atiku Abubakar, make some noise! Okay, his family people are there. Woo, woo, woo! And now, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former governor of Anambra State. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Jonathan said he has no shoes. This man I'm talking about, he said he has only two shoes. And he flies the economy. Give it up for the one, the only, Peter O.B. Okay. He's not by who. Do you have your PVC? Elections are not one on social media. Eh? But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. But seriously, eh? Guys, I don't think we give President Buhari enough credit in this country. See, President Buhari is one of the best presidents ever. He promised us change and he gave us change. He took Nigeria from top to bottom. I'm telling you, forget the insecurity, I mean, forget that, oh, Nigeria overtook India as the poverty capital of the world. 
Forget all those things. I mean, do you guys read your constitution? The job of a president is just to flex and travel to London. So don't blame my guy. Don't blame Boo Boo. Boo Boo, if you're watching, we do not blame you. And guys, you don't realize, President Buhari became one of the most powerful presidents in the world when he banned Twitter. Who remember the Twitter ban? Guys, let me explain it to you. Yeah? Twitter banned Donald Trump. A whole Donald Trump. Buhari banned Twitter. That is power. When Donald Trump heard that Buhari did what he could not do, he picked up the phone immediately and called Boo Boo. He was like, hello, Boo Boo. Is your boy the night? Boo Boo was like, uh, it's your boy. Uh, so what is the only Boo Boo? I heard you back Twitter. Oh my God, that's so tremendous. You're so courageous. You don't understand. You've got big balls. Like really, really big balls. Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> okay. So real quick, tell me, how did you do it? How did you ban Twitter? I was like, ah, uh, it's very simple. <laughs> I just call like Mohammed. <laughs> Are you serious? I hope you're not lying. Uh, that's like Mohammed's job. <laughs> ah, man, this country is screws. Every day you wake up is one news. It's either monkey, he's swallowing 70 million, or snake, is swallowing 30 million. I read one news article, I think sometime last year. The federal government seized former petroleum minister's properties, right? Amongst the properties seized was a house in Banana Island, some luxury cars, um, 25 wedding gowns, and some very expensive bra. One of that bra is rumored to be $13.2 million for bra. My sister, don't be offended. Like, how much do you used to buy? <laughs> how much? Give me a price, please, price. Like 5K? How much, how much? 15k okay we have one price there 15k sorry like how much how much 2k my sister where are you from you people get lady no man you are doing the bend dance a lot you know see we have 15k from the island we have 2k from the mainland standard bra price one woman 13.2 million and i'm like why are we wasting content in this country guys follow me imagine this particular story was made into a movie for Netflix. How the adverts will be. If I just do hand like this, I'm gonna do bam. All right? Can we do the advert together? A country riddled with corruption is in search for redemption. One woman, multi billion dollar house in Banana Island, 25 wedding gowns, and from very expensive bra. The search is on for who will buy the Zianis bra. The Zianis bra only on Netflix. Sweet! If we're not say, okay, let's bring it back home. Who remembers the whole video? All those are Alaba movies. Imagine we're not say, okay, let's do it the Alaba format, eh? Or the Asaba movie. You know, it always starts with like an unfortunate soundtrack. You go just start. Trouble don't land again for Bodo, Nigeria. One woman, multi billion dollar house for Banana Island. We're not getting banana. No, Miss Botty, no, now. So this woman will carry 25 wedding girls. My sister, how many times you marry? Hey, that's so why she can't carry money. 13.2 million. Come buy one brand. Now, how much is my national budget? There's the only brand part one and two. There's the only brand part one and two. Oh, this one will be ordinary proud. This one now, Brakatabra. Even people from Brazil, no fear for that. There's the only brand part one and two. What can I just put up? I'm not going to make any hit. With one rock and roll down it, one six pound roll down, but there's the only brand. Grab your copy now.